Okay, so we're going to cup the hands, open up the chest, roll the shoulders down. We're going to bring the hands onto the knees. And let's start to rotate the torso. Nice big round circles. Keep the heart center open as you do this. Great. And then after the next round, we're going to uh, swap the uh, legs and go to rotate the other way. So once again, nice big round circles and hopefully you should be able to feel a nice massage of the lower back as you do this. Great, and then once you've finished the next round, we're going to come to sit up straight and then roll onto all fours. So let's come on to all fours. Checking the distance between the hands shoulder width apart with the wrist directly underneath the shoulders. Um, check that uh, the knees directly underneath the hips width width apart. And as you inhale, you're going to hollow the back, look towards the ceiling. As you exhale, round the back, look towards the navel. Inhale, hollow up. Exhale, round the navel. Inhale up, exhale, navel, and continue. A few more rounds in your own breath, following the back as you look up, rounding the back as you look towards the navel. Great, and then once you finish the next round, uh, let's come to neutral spine. We're going to tuck the toes underneath, keep a slight bend in the knees as you lift the hips up. Then straighten the right leg, keep the left a little bent and then slightly bend the right knee, straightening the leg, left. And continue like this alternately, straightening and bending each leg. So you're walking the dog on the spot here and you should be able to feel a nice stretch down the back of the extended leg. Great, and then once you've finished the next round, start to walk the feet up to the hands and bring the feet hip width apart. Hold on to opposite elbows and just flop the upper body down, releasing the neck, breathing here. Keep a micro bend in the knees, and if you're feeling any tension in the lower back, bend the knees a little bit more. Let go of the arms, coming up vertebra by vertebrae, with the head coming up last. And we're going to do some shoulder rolls. So let's do some shoulder rolls, we'll take the shoulders up to the ears and then back and down. Nice big round circles. Relax the shoulders down and take some spinal spiral swirls. So listen to your body. If you're feeling any dizziness or discomfort doing this, obviously don't go too fast. Otherwise, you can speed it up, just letting the arms flow with the momentum. Great. And then starting to slow down, come to a standstill. So we're going to come to stand in summer city, posture of equanimity and balance. Have the feet touching, big toes touching, inner edges of the feet touching. Pull up on the kneecaps, engage your thigh muscles. Tuck the tailbone slightly under engaging the lower abdominals. That's a specific lock in yoga called the Uddiyana Bandha. Keep that engaged throughout the practice. Open up the chest, roll the shoulders down. Close the eyes, grow up tall. Give yourself the inner smile and bring your awareness to the breath. So, you can start to establish the Ujjayi breath. 
So you want to slightly constrict the back of the throat. So as you inhale and exhale, you're giving out the sound of distant waves. We'll try and continue with this type of breathing throughout the session. So if you don't quite get the ujjayi breath, don't worry, just continue breathing deeply in and out through the nose for the rest of the session. So keeping the eyes closed, let's bring our hands to Namaste at the heart center. And we're going to chant one all together. Deep inhalation. Still keeping the eyes closed, hands in the muscle. Taking a moment here to dedicate this practice to someone who may be in need of this energy of yoga. Could be yourself, it could be someone else or something else. Bringing the hands down, let's open up the eyes. Okay, so you want to step out to the right. Check there's a one leg distance uh, between the two feet. Turn the left foot in slightly, right foot, the right foot points to the back, but your pelvis is squared up to the front. Keep the legs straight and we're going to stretch the upper body all the way to the back. Bring the right hand onto shin, open up the left shoulder, Float the left hand up, gazing upwards, breathing here. Keep on pressing into the outer edge of the left foot. So you're feeling a nice opening of the left hip. You're going to keep the legs straight, keep on pulling up on the kneecaps. And we're aiming to get a vertical line of the arms from the top hand to the bottom hand. Nice deep full breathing. Looking down at the big toe, inhale and come up. And we're going to turn our right foot in slightly, left foot points to the front. But check the pelvis still squared up to the side. And we're going to extend all the way over to the front. Left hand onto shin, open up the right shoulder. Floating the right hand up, gazing upwards, breathing here. Keep on pressing into the outer edge of your right foot, keeping the leg straight, pulling up on the kneecaps. So if you just imagine there's a brick wall behind you and you're pressing your back onto that imaginary brick wall. Nice deep full breathing. Looking down at the big toe, inhale and come up. Turn the left foot in slightly, right foot points to the back. Pelvis still squared up to the front side. And then we're going to extend all the way to the back, bringing the hand onto the shin. Open up the left shoulder, float the left hand up, and then see if you can bring it diagonally across. Keep on pressing into the outer edge of your left foot. So this is a giraffe posture. Looking down at the big toe, inhale and come up. Turning right foot and slightly, left foot points to the front, pelvis squared up to the side, extending the arms out. Taking the stretch all the way to the front, we're going to open up the right shoulder, floating the right hand up, and then see if you can bring the arm diagonally across, pressing into the outer edge of your right foot.
looking down at the big toe. Inhale and come up and come up to the front of the mat, some sleeping feet. Once again, taking a step out to the side. So this time, we want to go much wider with the feet, as wide as your wrists when the arms are extended out. Bring the hands onto the hips. Inhale, lift, open up the chest. Exhale, hinge forward. Bring the hands onto the mat. Inhale, look up, exhale, releasing the head down, breathing here. So you want to have your legs straight with the palms flat down onto the mat. And if you find you can't quite get the palms flat down onto the mat, you can place a block or blocks underneath to help you. Keep the legs straight, keep on pulling up on the kneecaps. Keep the abdominal lock engaged. See if you can get your weight 60% onto the balls of the feet, 40% onto the heels. Breathing into the hamstring stretch if you can feel it. So going to keep my left hand where it is. On the next inhale, float the right arm up. Exhale, lean down. Inhale the left arm up. Exhale, lean down. And continue a few more rounds in your own breath. Nice, slow, fluid movements. Synchronize to the breath. Feel the entire rotation from the head, through the spine, down to the legs. Once you finish the next round, just bring both the hands back onto the mat, relaxing the head down. Hands onto hips, soften the knees, inhale, coming all the way up. We're going to heel toe the feet together. You want to take a step over to your right. And you want to go quite wide with the feet, so at least as wide as wrists when the arms are extended out. Turn left foot in slightly, right foot points to the back. We check the pelvis squared up to the side. We're going to bend the right knee. So you want to make sure the right knee doesn't go beyond the right heel. You want it to go. Uh, directly on top of the heel and we're softly gazing over the right fingertips breathing here so nice strong warrior twos straightening both the legs we turn our Right foot in slightly, left foot points to the front, pelvis squares up to the side, bending the left knee, softly gazing over the left fingertips, breathing here. So you should be getting a sense of the hands pushing away from each other, inner thighs pushing away from each other. Try and keep the shoulders relaxed down, away from the ears, breathing here. Straightening with the legs. Once again, turn left foot in slightly, right foot points to the back, and you can relax the arms down, take them up again, coming into warrior two. 
float your right arm up into the air and then place the right elbow just above the knee. Opening up the left shoulder, float the left hand up and bring it diagonally across, gazing upwards, breathing here. Keep on pressing into the outer edge of the left foot. So hopefully aiming for a diagonal line of all the way from the left hand to the outer edge of the left foot. Looking down a big toe, inhale and come up, turning your right foot in slightly, left foot points to the front, coming into warrior two, and then float the left arm up, place the left elbow just above the knee, open up the right shoulder, Put the right hand up and bring it diagonally across, gazing upwards, breathing here. Keep on pressing into the outer edge of your right foot. Trying to get that diagonal line from the top hand to the outer edge of the foot. Looking down with a big toe, inhaling, come up, and we're going to turn both the feet now to face towards um, the side. Bring the hands onto the hips. So you want to inhale, lift, open up the chest. Exhale, fold forward. Bring the hands onto the mat. Inhale, look up, exhale, releasing the head down, breathing here. So you want to keep the legs straight and if you find that you can't quite get the palms onto the mat, place a block of blocks underneath to help you. See if you can get your weight 60% onto the balls of the feet, 40% onto the heels. Keep the abdominal lock engaged. Great. Bring the hands onto the hips. Soften the knees. Inhaling. Coming all the way up. We're going to now interlock the hands behind. Inhale, lift, open up the chest. Exhale, fold forward. Take your arms over the head, breathing here. Trying to keep the weight 60% onto the balls of the feet. Keep on pulling up on the kneecaps. Abdominal lock engaged. See if you can gradually take those hands a little bit closer towards the front of the knee. Soften the knees, inhaling, coming all the way up. Just shake the arms out. Once again, let's interlock the hands behind, inhale, lift, open up the chest, exhale, fold forward. And we're going to just rotate uh, so that our palms now face the ceiling. And then, once again, the other way around, seeing if we can take the arms a little bit further over the head. shaking the arms out and then heel toe the feet together. Coming to the front of the mat. So we're going to bring the feet hip width apart, hands onto hips, 
Inhale, lift, open up the chest. Exhale, hinge forward. You're going to see if you can hook on to the big toes. First, two fingers of each hand. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold forward and breathe. Now the important thing in this posture is a hand grip, even if you need to have the knees a little bit bent in order to get there. And if you've got the knees bent, you want to see if you can work the legs a little bit straight with each breath. See if you can come 60% onto the balls of the feet, 40% onto the heels. Inhale, lengthen and release. Exhale, hands on the hips. Soften the knees. Inhaling, coming all the way up. And we're going to bring our feet together. From here, we're going to come to sit in Utkatasana, crooked chair pose. So we've got the feet together, knees together, sitting down as low as you can on that imaginary chair behind you. You're going to raise the arms up. You're going to think about drawing the shoulders down away from the ears. Breathing here. And see if you can sit down a little bit lower. Great. Let's bring the hands down and we're going to take a step back to plank position. So you want to make sure it's a real plank here. Have your hands shoulder width apart and feet hip width apart. So make sure there's no bottom sticking up to the ceiling, hips not sinking down. We're going to come into side plank from here. So bring the left hand to the center and float your right arm up. So if you need to modify this, you can do that by placing the left knee onto the mat, or you can even place the left elbow onto the mat. And then bring the right hand down and side plank onto the other side. So right hand comes to the center. We're going to float the left arm up. Modify this if you need to, placing your right knee onto the mat or even the right elbow onto the mat. Great. And then let's bring our left hand down, come into plank, drop the knees down, chin and chest down with the elbows pointing up and the hips up. Inhale to baby cobra, open up the chest, point the toes away from you, tuck the toes under, coming into downward dog and take a rest in child's pose. You have the knees out wide, mat with big toes together behind, extending the arms out in front, fall into the mat. So again to hug the knees into the chest, rock from side to side, and then pop your feet onto the mat, knees bent, bring the feet hip width apart. Keep your heels quite close to the sitting bones. We're going to press the small of the back into the mat and then lift the hips up to ski slope, coming into bridge posture. Once you're on the tips of your shoulders, interlock the hands underneath you, keeping those hips lifted up, breathing here. Moving the arms out to the side, releasing the spine onto the mat. I'm going to repeat that once more. So you're going to press the small of the back into the mat, lift the hips up to ski slope. Once you're on the tips of your shoulders, interlock the hands underneath you, keeping those hips lifted up, breathing here. And release 
releasing the arms side, lower the spine onto the mat, hug the knees into the chest, rock from side to side. And we're gonna hold on to each kneecap with each hand and start to rotate the knees towards each other. Nice big round circles. And then the opposite direction away from each other. Great. Pop the feet onto the mat. This time bring them mat with apart. Bring your arms out into a T-shape. Now, as you exhale, you want to drop both the knees over to the right. Inhale to centre. Exhale, knees over to the left. Inhale to centre. And continue, turning the head the opposite direction to where the knees are rolling out. So if you just imagine your legs are like wipers on a windscreen, you're taking them from side to side, releasing out any tension. Great, and then once you finish the next round, Hug the knees into the chest and we're going to come to rest in Shavasana. So you want to make yourself comfortable in Shavasana. If you're feeling any tension in the lower back, then you can have the knees bent with the knees flopping onto each other. Otherwise, extend the legs out in front of you. Bring the feet mat to the part, feet flopping out to the side. If you feel um, uh, you need to have a blanket over you, you can do that. Uh, you want to bring your hands about um, 10 inches away from the body, palms facing up, fingers gently curled in, back of the neck is long, so tuck the chin in slightly, eyes remain closed, letting the eyeballs sink heavily into the eye socket. Let go of any control breathing now, just letting the breath return to whatever feels normal. Relax the jaw, give yourself the inner smile and relax completely, letting go of any tension into the mat, just finding that peace and stillness within. to bring the awareness back to the body, wriggling your fingers and toes, draw the head over to the right and then the left. Once again roll the head over to the right and then the left. Centralize the head, take the arms over the head, Bring the legs together, extend the legs out in front, give yourself a nice big stretch all the way from fingertips to toes. Hug the knees into the chest. Rock from side to side. Take your right arm over the head, roll over onto your right hand side in a fetal position, just staying there for a few breaths. And 
and then in your own time, come up to sitting. And we're going to end by chanting one form together. So sitting comfortably, hands in namaste, eyes closed, deep inhalation. Keeping the eyes closed, bring the namaste to the forehead. May there be calmness in my mind. Bring the namaste to the lips. May there be kindness in my speech. And bring the namaste to the heart center. May there be goodness in my actions. Namaste.